I'm in front of a GameStop, and its primary products are uh, new and used video games and video game systems. If you're a really old gamer, you remember that game systems uh, used to only have one game. Like if you bought Pong, you could just play Pong. Um, if you wanted to play another game, you had to buy a whole other system. First, we started with game cartridges, and then uh, games were on uh, CD-ROMs and Blu-rays. Nowadays, a lot of gamers can just download games. But the success of GameStop is completely dependent on the need for the games to be separate from the system. So, who invented that technology? Who invented the first video game cartridge? Gerald Jerry Lawson started his self-taught journey as a kid in Queens, New York. He broadcasted his own radio station out of his bedroom and made money selling homemade walkie-talkies and fixing his neighbor's televisions. When he entered the workforce, his innovation and drive were so remarkable that the manufacturer of one of the major computer companies in the 70s hosted a class in Lawson's garage. He worked with different companies developing program languages and designing HUD systems for aircrafts. Lawson started working for Fairchild Semiconductor in 1970, and by 76, Lawson had become the head of engineering and marketing for their gaming division. After he had designed one of the first arcade games called Demolition Derby, he created the Fairchild Channel F. Not only was this the first home gaming system to use a microprocessor, but it was also the first time the game could be stored externally, allowing for multiple games to be played on one system. Today, companies come out with next generation systems about once a year. But without Lawson's invention, you would have to buy a new system for each game. That was Gerald Lawson, and this is The Balance.